Reverse Retro 4th Jersey Program, Adidas has released a teaser about all of them. No doubt you've probably seen the teaser video if you haven't, link in the description down below. It doesn't really tell us a huge amount if you just watch that video on face value. However, thankfully, most of the teams, I've had to fill in a few gaps here, uh, claimed which jerseys were theirs on Instagram, and the number on the back is the year that they wore the jersey. So, saying that, means that we can get a real good indication of what these jerseys look like. So let's jump straight in. Um, again, this is uh, some of these that are obviously confirmed leaks or, or things that look pretty realistic. Other things I'm taking some liberties on, but you know, we'll be able to see the jerseys that they're linked to and, and there's going to be some things played around where some of the colors don't really add up and, and whatnot, but we'll, we'll, we'll jump through. So let's start off. Uh, we're going to do this in alphabetical order. Um, I mean, my Senator's All-Star jersey, just because the All-Star jersey I figured was the most neutral of all the jerseys that I have. I just figured that was a good way to sort of do this video. All right, Anaheim to start off with, which, uh, by the way, all throughout all of this, there'll be pictures on the screen, of course, of all the jerseys, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, the jersey uh, in front of you right now says 95, so obviously links to the 95 jerseys um, from 1995, which will now be in front of you as well. Um, so it looks like the, the rumor was that it was going to be a Wild Wing jersey, um, and, and, you know, there's a very strong leak that, uh, that it was going to be the orange one. However, if you look here, it's white and uh, teal. So I have a feeling that it's going to be a way version of the Wild Wing jersey, which is going to, it's just pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm, I'm this, this jersey I think, uh, has a lot going for it. So, um, might be one that I kind of head off to Ben H Sports and say, Hey, what's going on? By the way, he's getting most of the jerseys. I think it, it mentioned to me like 24 of the teams or something like that. His email's down below. Um, so if you want to email him directly and find out whether he's getting uh, one of these jerseys in your size and obviously save a bit of money. And of course, it's a great shipping experience and all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's the way, best way to sort of get in touch and, and maybe put aside one of these jerseys just for you. Uh, then we move on to Arizona. Uh, they, uh, oh boy, it's an interesting one, isn't it? It's an interesting one. Uh, when I well, looked at this video, I would not have picked Arizona. Um, and it's 98, so these are all their jerseys from 98. My guess is it's going to be their alternate jersey because it's the only thing that has purple in it, or that shade of purple at least. Um, with uh, purple as the main and then orange there. All the jerseys have been pretty two-toned in colors, so I don't know if this shows out everything. But that's what I'm thinking. It could be a purple version of the, the, uh, the home jersey there, um, but which I have. Um, but I think we're looking at more... It's going to be the other one. I like the head version. I like that in purple. I think this is a good way for them to go. I, I, I yeah, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed this. Then we go to the Chicago Blackhawks 40. That is right. 1940 is the jersey that they're harboring back to. Uh, these were the jerseys that they had uh, back then, um, back when they had a space between black and hawk. So uh, could be really cool. I love all the stripes in this. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this all works. Now, the, the thing is with most of these jerseys here that are in front of you, it all just has two stripes on it. So, and the shoulders, so don't look too much into that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking where we're getting some, some reverse color of that home Jersey there, which may be an absolute winner. It may really be a good one. Austin off to the Bruins. We didn't get Pooh Bear, unfortunately. I know there's a few people in the Aussie Jersey swaps that, that really wanted Pooh Bear. I wanted Pooh Bear as well. Oh well, uh, we, we, we are getting a goodish jer jersey, I think, like a good hard yellow of the old take jersey. Um, there's a video of it in front of you. Um, it's from 1990, which obviously those jerseys are in front of you now um, that they wore in 1990. So, uh, so yeah, I, I think it's an interesting, an, an interesting take on the jersey if this, if this leak is confirmed, which a few people have kind of think it is, um, but obviously some of these haven't really lined up to be correct, so I'm just, I'm not 100% sure on it, so, yeah. Buffalo, uh, this is the first jersey that's confirmed to not be reverse retro, in the sense that it's not reversing the colours that we see on the jersey, confirmed, um, that are in front of you, because, uh, yeah, this is the jersey that they have, 00 means 2000, obviously, and these are the jerseys that they wore in the year 2000, so... Uh, my guess is, is that we're getting the swords in their current white and raw blue. If it's not the Buffalo head, it's the sword. That is going to be a really good jersey. 
That like that is going to be a really good jersey. I like the away. I think that with the royal blue and a lot of white as an away jersey is going to be a really really good jersey. I think this one's going to be a real underrated. Like could be a sneaky dark horse to be one of the better ones in this group. But yeah, I'm kind of excited for that. Calgary. Um, well, they've gone dark. They've gone dark. 98. So that's just everything in 98. Now, there's been a lot of rumors that Blasty is coming out, and uh, that's the horse, by the way. I think that is more going to be an alternate jersey and not a reverse retro. So I think you're getting a more black version of just the Calgary Flames, the C on fire. We'll see. We will see. But, I mean, if it's Blasty, it's going to be pretty cool. But I think a lot of fans were a bit like, it's not going to be Blasty because it's black and, and all there. Um, so I'm guessing we're getting a modern, like, uh, a black version and red. Don't know if there'll be much yellow there. This jersey could really look like a lot of the jerseys that came out in 98, like around when every team was like, we must have black, because black is cool. So yeah, a little bit worried about this one. A little bit worried about this one. But I think you're getting a Blasty in another jersey, so I, I think it will be okay in the end. I just think that they were already working on that to happen, and then sort of this came out, and then they're like, oh, all right, well, here's... Carolina, 79. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, hang on a minute, Carolina Hurricanes weren't around in 1979. You'd be correct. Hartford Whalers were, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they got a lot of they got a lot of uh, throwback last time that they did this, um, that they wore this jersey, and I didn't have a problem with it. It's part of their franchise, part of their history. It's not like Hartford's around at the moment. Um, I think if a team goes to Hartford, I think you you give that back a little bit, like uh, uh, Winnipeg Jets, and we'll get to them. Um, but yeah, I, it looks like we're getting just an away version of this, or. What I think it might be is it might be the Carolina Hurricanes logo to this colours. Because otherwise it's just an away version of the Hartford Whalers jersey. Which, I mean, that's what it looks like here. So it might be a, 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 an homage, which I'm even more for if they do an homage to it instead of wearing the actual Hartford Whalers uh, jersey. I think that might be, might be pretty good. Speaking of teams that want to go down this route... Quebec Nordiques or uh, Colorado Avalanche. Oh boy, 79. 79. They were obviously the Nordiques then. And this is what the, you know, they, it has the, it has that maroon sort of uh, red uh, on the shoulder pad. So I don't know, uh, is it going to be a maroon version of the Nordiques? Because that, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's been a lot in the rumor mills that there was going to be a Nordiques jersey this year. Um, so, and if they do kind of their own take on the Nordiques logo, I think everyone outside of Quebec will love that jersey. And then everyone in Quebec will probably be like, this is the worst thing to ever happen to our franchise. But you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. Columbus! Uh, I was kind of hoping they weren't going to go too far away and just do, uh, either the little bug or, uh, or the cannon. Um, they went with their old logo in 2000, um, as you can be seen here. It, and it, there's been a leak about uh, on Isoletics um, on what it might be, which is here. Um, and of course, the other jerseys uh, from 2000 is in front of you. So it just looks like that this is actually going to be a reverse retro um, of, uh, of the, the red and the blue. It looks like a few teams have, have understood reverse retro and others have just taken little elements of it and, uh, and sort of put it onto their own product. Dallas Stars. Um, this one's interesting. So they've gone the stripes on the jersey, and obviously, like I said, most of the jerseys, or oh, all of them, have just the two-tone stripes. So you can't go too much by the stripes being the design. Uh, but uh, these were the jerseys that they wore at the time um, in 99, and obviously 99 is a big year for them. Uh, I, I'm wondering if it's going to be the, hot, the away jersey, but with their more colourful green. It's just going to be like an enhanced version of, of that exact jersey, just a little bit of a bit of a change to it um, with their green, which I think might look pretty good with that old Stars logo. I don't think it's going to be a huge seller this one, if that is it. I just don't think that's going to really get butts in the seats, especially with their alternate jersey that they just released. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Now we move to the weird, like the most bizarre, like I have to see this when this comes out in Detroit. What is this? What, like, what, I don't know what they're doing. 1998, uh, it, this is one of those jerseys that you look through all their history and it's just a whole bunch of the same jersey. Uh, but this is grey on it. 
So I don't know what they're doing. Like, I don't... Because, like, if it was reverse retro, that's just their home and away jerseys. Their home and away jerseys are literally reverse of each other. Grey? Is it just going to be grey with a red logo on it? Like, the red only seems to be very in the middle on the numbers. And they're the only jersey that's been like that. So I don't know what they're doing. That's one that's just TBA. A whole lot of TBA, but it looks like there's going to be some grey in the TBA. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the Oilers uh, showed off uh, this bad boy here. Uh, a little bit of blue around the number and um, 79, which their jerseys are here. Again, another team that is... Uh, uh, not exactly uh, known for their jersey, uh, their, their crazy difference in jerseys uh, between home and away jerseys. Um, so I don't know what this one's really going to look like. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know what they're going to do. Are they just going to change the stripes a little bit? Looks like it's going to be an away jersey. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see how it all works out. 79, by the way, is when the WHA stopped and uh, they joined the NHL. So uh, yeah, kind of fun. Florida Panthers, uh, 96, uh, it looks very much like we are actually getting a reverse retro and the fact that the colors are going to flip, um, still to see it, but we might be getting the Panther leaping out again, instead of one just looking at the sunset in the distance like a military officer, um, yeah, which I'm super for, I love, I love the Panther flying out of the jersey, I love that one, I think it's a great, a great take of a, on a Panther, um, I like the blue over the red too. I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, should be a good jersey. I'm, I'm excited to see this one. Islanders, 1980. Uh, these were their home jerseys and again, not really much of a take uh, here. Uh, it just looks darker. So I don't know if it's going to... I don't know what they're going to do here because again, their home jerseys have been very similar across the years except when they obviously went Fisherman's Friend. Um, or fish sticks jersey, although the colors of this is very reminiscent of the fish sticks jersey So I don't know if they're just taking the color scheme and I might get fish sticks because that would be great But yeah, I don't know what they're doing here are there some of these are hard to make decisions on just because we don't really know what's happening Winnipeg Jets uh, do 1979 which is very interesting because uh, their club or where they come from does not date back that far It really doesn't um, they were the Atlanta Thrashers and then they moved up So this might be the first case of they're showing a jersey that Technically isn't their franchise even though we all believe that it you know the old Winnipeg Jets is now just the new Winnipeg Jets um, But yeah, uh, these were their jerseys in 1979 um, I don't know if this is gonna have the baby blue in the Jets logo You know the one that has Jets written across it um, In and then have the old logo. I don't know if they're even allowed to use the old logo um, Without permission, so I don't know if it's gonna be like the old-school look with their new logo so many questions with that one, so I'm really keen to have a look at, and um, yeah, I just can't wait to see it. The Kings! Oh, the Kings. Boy, howdy, have you come. You've come good. You've come good, LA. You really you did well in the draft. Byfield's going to be great, although I would have wanted the studs a little bit, you know, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the purple and yellow. Um, it says 89. These were the only jerseys they wore in 89, so they weren't, you know, in the, the Monarch um, sort of days. And boy, is this going to look good. There's been a uh, mock-up done of it, which is in front of you now. Oh. 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 It's going to be so good. With the old logo, the Gretzky logo, uh, with this one, that's going to be that's gonna be an absolute winner. There's going to be a few that are just going to be really good that I'm just going to have to get. Um, but I think Ben will be sending a few as the random ones. I know he put, he's putting one aside for the Penguins, so... I won't act like that. That's a shock when I get that one. But um, but yeah, I'm super excited for that. For that. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be really, really good. Uh, Las Vegas, uh, the Golden Knights, uh, 95. They went around then, but there's been some leaks about uh, what their jersey is going to look like, which is here. Um, sort of, you know, taking some, uh, some things about previous teams around in the area and updating it with their logo. So yeah, did their best with what they've got. They did their best. It actually looks like it might be pretty good. A good addition, adds a bit of red to it. Everything has been quite gold and, and black and, you know, th thus far. So I really think this jersey adds a fair bit to their, um, their current availability. Stand out in the crowd too. Minnesota Wild, another team that is uh, dating back to a time when they weren't in the league. Uh, 78. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be a date back to the Minnesota North Stars, which is actually the Dallas Stars. 
Um, again, I don't know how it works, like, with permissions and things like that. Like, I mean, uh, probably there's a certain, like, you know, after 50 years or something like that, they're just like, yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I wonder what, like, the, the timestamp is, is being able to go back and say, like, old things that weren't part of your franchise, technically, that you have rights to. I'm sure someone needs to sign up on this stuff. Uh, but yeah, this was their jerseys, uh, back then. Um, so I don't know if we're getting a current Minnesota logo on the North Star jerseys, or again, if we're getting North Star logos, it's really up in the air of whether we're getting the old school logos on, on, on teams that technically is not part of their franchise. So I'm really curious to see how this jersey looks. If it's a North Star logo, I, I really like these jerseys, um, uh, like going through the history books. Um, yeah, I just, I just think on the ice, they look really good. Uh, kind of like the end. I usually don't like just a letter, but I like the way it's all done. So I'm, I'm curious. Like this is another one of those. Like I'm cautiously optimistic about this jersey and might be one to get. Montreal, uh, a team that uh, is part of that kind of a lug of of teams that doesn't have much to choose from from jerseys. They've gone with 77. These were their jerseys from 1977. I mean, I really could have showed you jerseys from now, and, and it would be like, can you spot the three differences? Um, but they've gone with blue, blue and red, so it looks like they're actually doing a reverse retro, which I think is awesome. Uh, I actually think this jersey is going to look mint, and again, offer something very different for the fan base there, but still, you know, not get, because I get with teams like this and the Red Wings, there's a lot of tradition there, and you don't want to just it be a complete basket case. Like you don't want Wild Wing to show up on it. You don't want one of those kind of jerseys on this. But I think that this offers enough for, for fans to be able to get into both who are loyal and um, and uh, both who are just casual. Um, I think it'll be a, a fun new twist on uh, on what's going on there. Nashville, 98. I am, you can hear the disappointment in my voice. This is the most disappointing one. Uh, yeah, these were the jerseys that had 98. So it looks like we're getting uh, it might be a reverse retro in the sense that the yellow will be the blue and the blue will be the yellow. With that logo, I wanted Sabretooth. Here's Sabretooth. It's the bottom jersey. I wanted the Sabretooth. I really did. I think that would look great in a, in a blue or their modern colours. Oh, so you don't understand how disappointed I was. I, I really want, wanted to see this. <sighs> Thankfully, the next team redeemed itself with what I think is one of my favorite jerseys. The New Jersey Devils. Of course they're good at getting New Jerseys out. Their name's in it. The name is New Jersey. There's so many times I tag uh, New Jersey when I'm like getting, or doing one of these, you know, my unboxings and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh no, I need to put an S there or else anyone, anyone Googling New Jersey is going to somehow find my video. Um, we're getting a difference in the Christmas jersey. I love this. Um, my friend and I, every Christmas morning, uh, I don't think we did it last year, but I'm going to message him this year and definitely try to do it with him. Uh, we play, uh, Hartford Whalers versus the, uh, versus, uh, Hartford Whalers in, in Carolina Hurricanes in the Hartford jersey in the New Jersey Christmas jersey, uh, as a Christmas game, uh, just because it looks so Christmassy on the ice, and... The fact that it's green and red, I almost bought, there's a Taylor Hall jersey <coughs> on sale at the moment in the Christmas colours. I almost, I almost bought it, but it was Fanatic and I was just like, if it went down ten more dollars. Just ten more dollars, I would have, I would have done it. Probably five would have got me there. This is a must for me. This is an absolute must. I love the Christmas jersey. I don't have the Christmas jersey. A reverse Christmas jersey is what I want. Ben H. Sports, if you're listening to this. Yeah. The random boxes, you you know what to do at this point. Um, oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. I'm I'm very, very excited for this. Uh, Ottawa Senators, uh, looks like they're going reverse retro. So they looks like they're doing the modern take, they're doing just swapping the, the main colours there. They say 92. Here are their jerseys from 1992. Um, so uh, I mean, obviously that logo is, is pretty much in play at the moment, um, looks very similar at least, and uh, they look like they're going an all red version of it, so I think that might look pretty good actually. So yeah, again, another one of those, haven't done too much, but cautiously optimistic that they'll, they'll pull it off. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more, some people. I need to tell some of these, <laughs> some of these other ones that less is more. The Rangers! Ah, uh, this is an interesting one. This is this is one of those ones that have one of those fake leaks, maybe real leaks attached to it that you're just like, what is this? So this is 96. Um, so this is their jersey, uh, or at least from the uh, the leak, and uh, this is their jerseys from 1996. I think most of you are saying, yeah, we're getting Liberty back. 
although the colors aren't reversed in any way, but it might be, you know, a different striping. I don't know how they're going to pull that off. Or it could be their current Rangers jersey in the darker colors from the Liberty. So it might be combining the two. The only thing that is interesting is that somewhere on eBay, this showed up. It has fanatics on it, so I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's 100%. The best way would, if they had the NHL card and it had the serial number on the NHL card, then I'd be like, yeah, it's probably real then. Um, Cause that's a good way to spot a fake jersey, by the way. If there's the big little NHL hologram thing and it doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have that, a, a number on it, then it's definitely fake. Although I've heard they're starting to get sneaky and starting to put numbers on it now. Starting to clue onto that. But yes, that's, uh, that's interesting. I'd love Liberty. Uh, I'd really like to see that jersey, but I, I guess we'll have to wait with that. One. San Jose, um, I don't know with this one because it's white and blue. Uh, it's white and they're teal. This is their jerseys from 98. 98 in the back, of course. Um, and looks like it's a version of their away jersey, but it might be where their current logos even though there's, again, not a huge amount of difference between now and then, so I don't know what we're getting there. Looks like it's going to be an away jersey, but I think that's a wait and see. That's another wait and see. There's a few There's a few that you've just had to put in the column of, like, well, I guess we'll just have to wait. St. Louis. Uh, I actually have this reverse retro. Uh, the, sorry, not the reverse retro, just the retro jersey, um, which is my favorite jersey that I have in my collection. Uh, the, 100%. I, I just love it. I love the Trump. I love the badges. Um, I think it's such a good jersey. That flipped around is a real nice little little tasty treat. Obviously the red and the blue. It looks like that's going to happen from 95 because this is the jerseys they wore in 95. So I'm thinking we're, we're getting something. We're getting something pretty good. This one, this next one's interesting. So Tampa Bay Lightning. They say 04. Uh, everything that I've been able to find thus far matches the start of a season. So obviously it's hard with the years because the season is, for instance, last season was 19 to 20 because it, you know, obviously breaks. I mean, we'll take the COVID stuff out of it, but obviously, yeah, there's a new year that happens in the middle of it. There wasn't an 04, 05 season, so uh, 04 is clearly mentioning their Stanley Cup winning jersey um, from 03, 04. So I just wish they put 03 in, but anyway. Um, yeah, this is where their jerseys were then when they won it. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be the blue as the main feature instead of the black and then black where the blue is. I think this is going to be a reverse retro in the sense that it's just reversing the main colors. I think that will be a tasty little treat. Toronto, another team that has just embodied the whole like you have two colors uh, and your everything's been the same for quite a while. I was wondering if they were going to do a modern take of the St. Pat's jersey. This That was the only thing that really featured in my mind or... Go the really old leaf, the one that was just like all, you know, just massive. But um, no, they've just gone the 70, which is very, you know, just different sort of shoulders and, and whatnot to now. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what they're reversing because, again, the home and the away are just the reverse of each other. So I don't know what they're doing to combine all that. Um, yeah, very curious with this one. The blue seems not to be anywhere near the same color as their normal blue, and a lot of these colors have been very similar so maybe they're just changing up the color a little bit to be different i don't know if we can look into that even then we have our curveball my goodness gracious vancouver canucks uh zero one it's in front of you now is there like a 1901 vancouver team that was green it's the only thing i can think of because this was their jerseys in 2001 it's not green there i i don't know what this is going to be i i don't know what this will be like i i, I just have no idea I just have no idea. Is it a green version of that alternate jersey? This is all the makings of this could be a disaster. This could be the real ugly one of the bunch. Or it could be really good. And I feel like there won't be any middle with this jersey. Uh, it's the old logo too. Um, the old like Canucks C. Um, but I'm very curious about this one. Very curious. This is all the makings of something that could, uh, could go very wrong. Washington Capitals. Uh, good old Washington. Uh, again, this one's had a leak already. Um, it looks like it says 97. These were their jerseys in 97. So you've either got the Screaming Eagle or you've got the Capitol building. Um, there's been a mock-up already done of a reverse retro in sort of the modern colors, which is indicated here, which can, this mock-up happened a few weeks before this announcement. So I think that this is probably has a lot of validity to be correct. 
Um, so I think we're getting this sort of jersey, which I think looks mint. If you're a fan of Washington Capitals, I think you'd grab this jersey. Um, I reckon it really looks really good. Probably just with everything with the government at the moment, just get get away from any White House sort of stuff. You, you don't want to be super political right now. That leak's interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see how that goes because it came out the same time as this next one and I wanted to do these teams two, two teams together because of that, this leak and, and whatnot. So the Penguins uh, were 97 and they had the same leak. It was an Indonesian eBay seller that said he had them, but... Um, whether they were real or not is another story. Um, although I think Fanatics do make jerseys in Indonesia, so I wouldn't. So like, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I'm fairly sure I've got a jersey from when I do NHL International. I'm pretty sure it comes from Indonesia. I'm pretty sure. Um, but the Penguins '97. These are their logos uh, and everything in '97. And this is the jersey that they're looking to go for uh, from the leak. Now, obviously, it does combine a little bit of what those home jerseys were, but it doesn't have the Robo Penguin. So I don't know how this is going to work. I, I, I think the fan base would love an, a yellow version of that Robo Penguin, um, even though I wasn't a huge fan of it. I just think that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I like the Pittsburgh lettering. I When that leak came out and I made that video, I already said that I think that's such a great take on what was their first jersey when they were just trying to be like the New York Rangers as badly as possible. Anyway, guys, that is the whole video. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it looks like the rumors are that there's going to be a full announcement on what these jerseys look like on Monday, uh, the 16th. So circle that date on your calendars. I think that's going to be really good to see all these jerseys. Uh, like I said, I think some of them are going to be great. And we're obviously going to do a whole review of all of them. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you found this useful, this video. If you did and you're a subscriber, hit the like button. If you aren't a subscriber and you've made it all this way, uh, please do subscribe. It really does help us out. I put a lot of effort into these videos to try and make these somewhat entertaining. And um, yeah, just sort of getting that one subscriber is, is the, the big motivation thing that keeps you making a lot of these videos. So it really does help us out. And plus you get NHL content. So that's a good thing. And comment down below which jerseys are you looking forward to? Is there any of my takes that you think were wrong or right? Um, is there a jersey that you fear? And what... Actually, I think this is the one. Like, what jersey are you the most optim cautiously optimistic with? One thing you like. They could they could F this up, but it also could be amazing. Um, there's a few of them that I'm... Uh, there's, there's a few questions that aren't answered, but we, we def definitely got some answers. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great day. Thank you. And bye.